Here we go. Welcome back, everyone. We're now live on Facebook to hide everybody out there. Like us and follow us. We don't go live on Facebook when people are calling in. Otherwise, it's just me. But it's really fun, though, if you want to see me, too. <laughs> my, <laughs> my next guests have been on with me now several times. I have with me Stephanie and Mike Maloney. They're owners of The Well Store. And welcome to the show. you got to tell everybody a little bit about yourselves and what we're going to talk about today. Well, hi. Nice to see you. Nice yeah. to see you, yeah. too. Stephanie and I here, wife and business partners, uh, been together 32 years. We'll be married 25 years here on July 29th. Congratulations to that. And um, what, we're really, what we're really pleased about is, is all the help we're providing to, to our clientele because what we're really addressing is an area of money planning that most people are ignoring their whole lives. Okay? And, and, and it'll, I can make reference to it in a couple ways. First question. Is it your goal to be debt-free entering retirement? Yes. And if you're working with an advisor, how come they've never asked you that question? They don't care. No. And No, it's not that they don't care. They're not trained. Okay. They're not trained for debt elimination. They're trained for investing, and they're also trained in theory, what things should happen. Okay? Well, I'm here to tell you that what they thought was going to happen hasn't happened. The long-term track record, for the S&P 500's return annually over the last 20 years. Is it 10%? It isn't 12% like a famous radio show uh, 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 host says. It's five, okay? And that's a real big issue. Another big issue, speaking of rates of return and things like that. Our government just passed the CARES Act. And the question I have for everybody I talk to is why did our government pass the CARES Act? which was giving out stipends and letting people cash in their 401ks and all this other stuff that they were affected by the COVID. Why did our government pass the CARES Act after a 12-year bull run in the stock market? I hope nobody out there in, in, in radio land or, or internet land gets upset. The reason our government passed it is because most Americans are dead broke. So as part of foundation planning, what we do is we are addressing that issue up front and we're providing people with a plan or a strategy to completely pay off all of their debt, student loans, credit cards, mortgages, business debt. I mean all of it. And I mean payoff, not consolidation. I think it's awesome. When you first came on and you talked about how people are in retirement, I was talking to someone just the other day because I just became retirement. I could retire if I want. Right. But I can't. Right. You know? <laughs> I can't. But also, um, the fact is, is that there's a lot of people, I was talking to a friend of mine who also said, I have I have a lot of debt mm -hmm. I have to take care of. And there's so many people out there that are like this. I mean, you said, what's the what's the ratio on it? Like, what's the percentage? Of people that are heavily in debt? Yeah, everyone. It's the, it's, it's you know, it's the old cliche 80-20, but I think it's more like 90-10. Mm -hmm. I really do. Most people are in debt nowadays, unless they take action, from the time they graduate college or university, all the way through their deaths. Right. And well, that's the, the, I think that they make it easy for that. First of all, you're, you're get, if you're going to have a student loan, then you've obviously got debt right there. Correct. But they also just mail you these times. They go, I don't care. It used to come in the mail. Now it's everywhere. I mean, they come on your email, everywhere. They want you to be in debt. Listen, that's the way we're conditioned with billions of dollars of marketing every single year. You, me, everybody. Okay? People today celebrate the fact that they're refinancing the largest amount of money they're ever going to owe they get more excited about refinancing versus paying it off. It's amazing, and yeah. we're going to talk about that because a lot of people don't realize that even your mortgage is debt, and that you've said that before when someone says to you, I'm debt free. Um, we simply say, congratulations, how long have you been mortgage free? And people respond, I still have a mortgage. Again, why? Because we've been conditioned that a mortgage is something that you live with. Well, you don't have to, and you shouldn't. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to give out some of your information. You've been doing this, you said, for 30 years. Yeah, my 30 years. Yeah. And their phone number to call is 623-748-3920. They do free consultations with people. It's a no-obligation free consultation. They'll work with you virtually. Right now, a lot of people are doing that. Uh, they work nationwide as well. And your website is debtisheavy.com. Tell them what we mean. We want to really go crazy on this. You're talking about debt elimination, Correct. not consolidation. Correct. Eliminate it. 
Right, and it is a, it's a it's a very easy process to understand once we once you allow us to show it to you. Okay, we don't have any smoke and mirrors. We have all the details. Okay, so anybody that's interested in seeing how we can help them, all we really need to understand is what debt they have, the interest rate they're paying, and what their payments are, and then we need to know where they're keeping money. Do they use a four hundred one IRA savings account, etc. And then what we do is we analyze all of that information through our proprietary software and we will produce a written report that shows people exactly how our strategy will help them before they've ever make any, any, any indication that they're going to go forward with it. So again, another cliche, they get to try it before they buy it. Which okay. is awesome. A lot of people out there, we've talked about this before, they're embarrassed. Yes. Most people are, are, don't want to talk about their debt that they owe. Uh, and but what's the difference? Let's say let's talking to you right now. A lot of people out there would say, "Well, I'm just going to go bankrupt on it." What, what do you feel? Well, bankruptcy does follow you the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and quite frankly, there are some people that have to go bankrupt. Okay, there are there are a, there's a few percentage of our population that we can't help. But if people are working, okay, and they are paying their bills, and they may be contributing to a 401k. And they may be buying a little insurance, okay? So you're still doing things with your with your finances. You just can't seem like you're getting ahead. Those are the people we help. And you said it's quite simple, but also that it happens in very little time considering. Yes. I think a good, the good idea of initial meeting is for us to get to know each other, for you to have a detailed explanation of how our process works without you divulging anything about yourself. Once you see how we work, then you're going to make it. You're going to make one of two choices. You're either going to want to see the details and your numbers, and you're going to give us the data, or you're going to say, "Hey, no, thank you. It's not for me." And we'll hear their phone number to call is six two three seven four eight three nine two zero. Write this number down because this is something that can change your life. And the only way you're going to know is by having a no obligation free consultation with them. They also they just want you to try it. <clears throat> before you do anything. Talk to them, find out how they can help. I'll give you an example of a, a, of a person we just helped. 38 year old gentleman, his wife's 42, they earn about $110,000 a year, single, single earning. She stays at home with the younger child. Um, his way of doing planning in 15 years, okay, he'd still be in debt for another 28 years with his strategy. We have him debt free with the same money flowing through his financial life it's not under nine, but understand, he was going to take 48 years with student loans and mortgages, debt-free with our strategy in 15 and a half years. Not bad. It's okay. a big difference. Okay, so it's not nine years or less. For most people it is. But that gentleman was never going to save his way out of debt. He had to pay it all off. Or his old man livelihood, and I said that on purpose, isn't going to be as free and relaxed as it will be now that he's going to be debt-free at age 53. Isn't that nice to know that that's a possibility? It's debtisheavy.com. Go up and they're on their website. Check them out. I see you on Facebook all over the place. Uh, I, some of the people that you, I think there's some of the people that you help and things like that. You, when you work with people, okay, do you both do these things together or do you work sometimes, as Stephanie, with them? Because sometimes women like to work with women, right? You know, Absolutely. we just want to know. No, we're very, I'm very empathetic to that because a lot of, especially depending on the age of the client, sometimes they don't have any part in that. You know, they don't do the finances, so they're on the outside. And I like to try to pull everybody together and get everybody participating in the process. So we work a little differently. But I think something that's really important for people to know is that a lot of the people we're working with, they don't have advisors because they don't have a lot, enough to work with with their traditional advisor. We're able to help everybody for the most part. So don't be intimidated if you don't have a financial advisor. It doesn't matter. You don't need to have a financial advisor. No. Most people don't, especially the people that they, if they don't end debt and they don't have a lot of money or they're to just do that up. with. They don't think, and it's, and it's okay. It doesn't matter where you are at or who you're with. If you're in debt, they want to help you. Yep, and we've helped students that are just getting started, too. What so. we're going to do is we're going to go to a break, and when we come back, we're going to talk further about that and some of the other things that you could do to help people. Their phone number to call, write it down right now. It is 623-748-3920. Their website is debtisheavy.com, and it is, and it doesn't have to be. 
So we're going to stay live here so you can talk a little bit further about that that you were saying about students and all that. Yeah, I mean, we can help people in their 20s if they're serious about getting out of debt. Mm -hmm. You know, they have to have, they've got to be invested in the process, but if they're, you know, have fifty to $100,000 of school loans, that's something that will keep them from possibly getting a home. Mm -hmm. So oh, you can gosh, get yeah. that person on track now to get that taken care of, and then, you know, they're not going to have that struggle because they have such a debt-to-income ratio. So even even the young person, they got to be, you know, serious. Right. And it doesn't matter. Does it matter how much in debt they are in when you work with them? doesn't matter at all. Right. No, but I wanted to mention with the, uh, with the younger adults wanting to address student loans, we have plenty of those uh, clients that involve their parents in that part of decision making. Their parents were involved in helping sure. them get the student loans. And we always ask those folks, well, do you like to run your financial decisions by somebody else that may have a more, little bit more life experience? And about half of them say yes. Sure. Well, we, we want everybody that, that a person is interested in seeing what we do, we want everybody to see it. Right. Okay. Do you want to talk about that when we go back live Good. a little bit so that yeah. they can hear that too? Sure. Okay. Sure. Is there anything that we're not getting to that you want to get to? Um, I, I, wait, might, I might throw in the estate planning piece the as we go. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Just, just, just for a summary, I'll summarize that foundation planning is being ignored. Okay. okay. Foundation and planning includes the, the foundation planning, debt elimination, estate planning, guaranteed retirement income, and addressing what's going to happen if you need long term care. Okay. Those are all I'll areas. I'll do that when we get in. Okay, so yes. I'm going to quickly talk about the. Um, the student debt, sure. but then I want to go right into that, giving you a little bit more time. Okay. okay. I mean, if you want to mention or not that Freddie saw us on here. Who? You, Freddie, the rep. Okay. You might want to say, hey, and if you happen to offer financial you know, services. Why don't you say it? Okay. It's excellent. Okay. I don't know what you're referring to. So. Just, Just professionals just, might want to do this for we their picked clients. Up a, we got an agent, a, a prospective agent that's training on our system okay, for, from the Facebook. Good, good. We might have shared the, the radio show and he picked that up. I don't remember. No, he watches the show. Oh, there you go. I'm sorry, huh? He watches the show. He saw it on here. He came from here? Cool. Yep, yeah, he's watching. Hi, Freddie. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, also, we have uh, virtual Is meetings. That? Check our website out for a link for our virtual meeting on this topic. Okay. Okay. We have meetings every week. We're going to get our hearts open. Mm -hmm. Grabbing it. I'm getting it. I like this. You might want to take this and put it on your phone as when they answer the phone. Like mm. instead of putting it on hold, I'll tell you, I heard somebody do it with one of our um, commercials for yeah. them. And yours is nice because I don't think it's a 60, I think it's a 30. I don't remember what it is. But it's anyways, short. It's nice. It's an idea. Yes, thank you. Welcome back, everyone. We're talking with Stephanie and Mike Maloney, owners of the Wealth Store. We just heard their ad. Uh, we were talking during the break, and one of the things that we wanted to get out there, too, is that on your website that people can uh, go up there and that you have virtual meetings every week. Let's talk about that real quick. Right. We have one coming up uh, this Thursday, uh, 10 a.m., and a, a link for your attendance uh, will be on the website. So you can go to debt is heavy.com and this Thursday they're going to be having at 10 a.m. they're uh, a virtual meeting that you can actually listen and learn a little bit about all of this too. Um, you're going to see the details. The details? Yeah it's going to take I don't know roughly 40 minutes or so and there's nothing for you to prepare nobody's going to ask you to participate you will be able to ask questions if you choose to because I'm going to be conducting the meeting along with Stephanie so but it's again, it's you'll hear the details and then you can decide if you want to talk any further. Debtisheavy.com. Also, we were talking at the break about student loans and that you can so we were talking about age group and stuff like that and how you bring everybody to the table. Go ahead. We do. And when we, you know, there's a lot of students that are graduating and they've just got this chunk of debt. You know, they're trying to get 
out and establish their lives and it's hindering them from being able to get to their next destination, the home, things they want to purchase. So we do work with students and if they're in their 20s, you know, a lot of times they're still looking to other people to help them make financial decisions. So we invite those people to be part of the process as well because that's what helps them be successful. Sometimes it's a family affair yeah, right? and it's okay to bring everybody in. And as a matter of fact, you also talk about, uh, well, it's, it's, it's financial planning to its peak with what you do. Right, Go ahead. or we reverse it. We start with the ground floor, which is what you want strong in every building, the foundation, mm -hmm. okay? And foundation planning, which again, most people are ignoring. Why do I know that? Because if I ask them if they've been working with a financial advisor and they tell me yes, I simply say, well, can you share the debt elimination strategy that they put in place? And nobody ever has one. Okay. And you wanted to say something. You work with uh, financial planners. Yeah, we love to teach other financial professionals in the Valley about this process because they have people in front of them that need the tool as well. You need to learn these I, things. I, They're I, adding yeah. something wonderful to the package. Yeah, I've brought on five, uh, five CFPs as part of my association, certified financial planners, that are all using my strategy in addition to their forward financial planning, okay, which is dealing with saving and investing for 20 years out. Remember, our planning, people are checking off debts, meaning paying them off. For most clients, all their consumer debts paid in less than two years. Hello. Wouldn't you love that? Hello. Don't you that feeling? And we talked about this before when you even came on, and I said, I'm going to mention it. I know, and we're going to talk about some of the different foundation planning we're talking about here. The lift that you have off your shoulder when, you're, when you feel great, you don't own any, owe any money, mm -hmm. you know, you're... Estate planning is pretty much done, right? That's correct. All of a sudden, you feel fantastic. You feel you, you're confident about things. And as you get mm -hmm. older, you want that feeling. Well, well, other than not having your health, you're free. If, I mean, if you're in good health and debt-free, I mean, come on. I, I love the way you put it. You said foundation planning. It starts with the ground floor. Yes. So let's look at that whole package. All right, so debt elimination. And then estate planning. Now, estate planning has nothing to do with how much money you have, right? Right. What it has to do with is how much control you want a loved one or somebody you trust to handle your affairs when you can't. Right? Stephanie, what was that situation with the uh, with the one college student? What was the deal? The college student. The deal. The one that got incapacitated. Oh yeah. And, uh, and parents couldn't make decisions for them. They had to go through a guardianship because they didn't have paperwork in place. And most people that have young adult children, we do, we have two sons that are in that age group, they're not taking care of their business yet, but if something happened to them and they become incapacitated like this young man, we have their paperwork in place, so we'd be able to make those medical decisions, but they were not, un they it's unfortunately didn't have it. It's very important you have these papers put together. In place. In place. And on file with your financial institutions. A lot of folks have documents in none of their money places, the bank, the broker, the IRA custodian, the annuity company, they have no idea these documents exist. And the problem is, those documents are ability for letting somebody else other than you touch your money. When do you want to know if they're going to take those forms? While you're competent. So that's why you need to bring it to them today. Because what you're going to find out is they have another form that they want you to sign to go with your documents that is simply saying nobody's going to sue them for following your instructions. So there's another thing you have to, you know, you, it used to be years ago, you did, probably didn't have to do all this, but today in our world. We have a very litigious society. We're world that we live in, and people don't think about those things, and when you don't? When you don't, that's when people have to get attorneys involved, and when you get attorneys involved, this is not criticism, this is fact, those fees are thousands, they're not hundreds, and when attorneys are involved, that means court processes are involved, and the time delay isn't days or weeks, it's months or years. Okay? That's the remedy. You either do it, or the legal profession in our court system puts the solution in place. And that's just the way it is. So, okay, you've got your foundation. Your foundation is now you start with them by talking about where you stand with your credit, okay? How much are you, not with your, your debt, debt. your debt. That's your correct. Debt is the right way to put that. Okay? They're going to get you debt free. Wouldn't that be great to retire being debt free? They're also going to make sure that your estate planning is all done, said and done, and filed right and with the right correct. people correct what else right well you know you've spent your entire lifetime working and most people feel that their paychecks pretty predictable it's something they can count on 
they do X, Y, Z, their employer's gonna give them what they promised. So the question is, once we hit retirement, how come more of us aren't thinking about making sure that we have guaranteed lifetime income? Because a 401k doesn't do that. You have to put other strategies in place. And you know what's happening now to today's seniors that do not have guaranteed lifetime income? They're scared and miserable. Interest rates have dropped, dividends have dropped, their values on their investments have dropped, and, and quite frankly, they're, they're not having a spring full retirement. But you know people with guaranteed lifetime income? Do you know what they do? They play a lot another round of golf. If they could travel a little more freely, they'd be doing it. Because they know on the third of the month, the right amount of money that they need to live their life drops into that bank account, along with their Social Security. You right? see, it's all about making sure that you're taking care of and being planning in advance, starting early, and making sure that all of this is put into place in the beginning. And, and you, you said 20 years old, if you're in school, if you are, if you've got uh, loans, student debt, then you're, you're someone that needs to make sure that you get them paid off. If you own a home, you need to make sure that mortgage is paid off. And, and people are gonna be surprised if they allow us to run our report that making extra mortgage payments is not putting you further ahead financially than the strategy will show you. So, and you said that they can still live their life as the same way as basically they are now. Our plan needs to fit like your favorite pair of shoes. And if it doesn't, it's not right. That's perfect. So, and make sure that they, because a lot of people are gonna say, well, I'm not gonna be able to do this, that, or the other thing. Well, let me say this. If you're worried about having that extra cup of coffee every day, hey, come on, you know. You know what would be great? I wish they'd stop telling me what we could do for them and just allow us to show you. <laughs> I mean, I mean, here's, there's only two things. We're either going to confirm, yeah, you're right, there's nothing we can do for you, or like so many of our clients, they go, I truly didn't think you were going to be able to do a thing. I'm shocked. And you know what? Here's the thing, is that when you talk to them, this is a free, no obligation consultation, and they're going to show you what they can do, then it's your choice. You always leave it up to them. Uh, I've been, we've been doing this 30 years. We don't chase anybody, and please take that respectfully. We understand what the word no means, mm -hmm. and we're okay with it. Matter of fact, when people sometimes, when they tell us no about our program, it's really because they haven't divulged all their debt and they're still a little embarrassed to talk in detail. So we let people simmer, and it's funny, within 30, 60, 90 days, they come back and they say, ready to talk to you. That number to call is 623-748-3920. The website is debtisheavy.com. This Thursday, 10 a.m. They're doing a virtual meeting where you can actually learn all about this you'll in see depth. The, you'll see the details. That again, that is debtisheavy.com. What do you want to leave them with? Well, the fourth area <laughs> that nobody that I've ever met wants to talk about, and I would say including us if we weren't in the business, <laughs> is what are you going to do if you need long-term care? Right? What are you going to do? We all know it's expensive, so here's what you need to ask yourself. Where is it going to be given, the care? Who's going to provide it? And then if you don't have long-term care insurance, which most people don't, what account do you want your family to use first to pay for your bill? Because here's what you need to know. We have strategies that we can make every dollar that's in that account worth up to $3 if you should need care. And if you don't need care, it answers the question everybody has. If I don't need care, where's my money go? It goes back to your family members. So you have something for everything. Well. For, for the protection aspects or foundation planning that we need. And it all starts from the beginning on the ground floor. Yes. And say you want to sit down and talk to them, they'll do a free, no obligation free consultation. And I say, you know, thank you. Thank you. You've even opened up my, some of the things that I sure. still need to think. Because if you think it's all taken care of, it may not be. <laughs> and you work second opinions, I'm sure. You talk to everyone, especially when it comes to estate Review planning. Review documents. And all, all those estate planning, too. Also, dust them off a little bit. Get them out and make sure that you take a look at them. This starts all, obviously at the ground floor. Get this is not. We're not talking about uh, debt consolidation. We're talking about debt elimination. It starts on the ground floor with that. Getting your planning together, making sure that you have money from your for your 1K, and then having a, no. You said annuities are guaranteed to having something coming in, and then at the last thing is to knowing someone is taking care of you with for yeah, your yeah. addressing your long-term care possible needs before you actually have to have it. Debt is heavy.com.